the aspect of financing terrorism has been up and there has been this race and this demand on the federal government to mention names of those who are involved in this act of financing terrorism. We had this in the time of President Madhu Buhari and uh, some said, well, a whole lot needed to have been done by that administration. <coughs> but well, the administration is already dusted off and we have that of President Tinubu. And it happens that in the time of the President Tinubu's administration, we are seeing names being mentioned, uh, published, and a whole lot has been said concerning how these names or how this list will be given some legality. Or do we also see them uh, from the surface of allegations? Well, joining me to discuss this is an economics and also a lecturer at the University of Benin, uh, Dr. Presley Osemige. Thanks for joining me, Presley. Thank you, Philip. Good morning, Nigerians. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we, we, we know what this is when it comes to you know, financing terrorism. The whole lot that needs to have been done to revitalize the economy, you know, to put the country in a right perspective. But rather, all of this money seems to be going to financing terrorism. And the list has been published. <laughs> we want to see your thoughts about that because we still know that there are some legality issues that is coming. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, Philip Mosge, thank you for having me. Um, good morning, Nigerians. And uh, I think I'm glad that we're having this um, conversation yep. this time, especially when the uh, country is in dire need of peace, you know, security and stability mm. and growth. Uh, you agree with me that um, uh, Nigeria, uh, in, and in the past, and even recently, have suffered a lot of uh, colossal, you know, uh, damage, you know, to both human resources and. Uh, but are uh, you know, materials. Yeah. You know, our farmers can own good farms. Even our students, our pupils in school, cannot even conveniently say, okay, let us go to school, mm. you know, to guarantee, you know, our uh, education. So a lot, you know, going on. Even our social life has been eroded. You know, no more night life. You know, we can enjoy, <laughs> you know. Are you sure it has been completely eroded? It has been. Are you sure I won't catch you in some of these night life, <laughs> some of these days? <laughs> Philip, once it is seven, I'm at home. <laughs> I, uh, I get it, I get it. Uh, but, so, but, but to say completely eroded, that's... Uh, that's in fact, that is the fact. Mm. Now, everyone currently is not the security of himself. And like, I, I think just yesterday, one of my friends came, you know, visiting me in the office. You know, now he tell his idea how he was kidnapped. Just, you know, you see your year. How he was, you know, kidnapped and he was moved and he was made to pay heavily, mm. every amount of money. Yes, a friend of mine, very close to me. So and he, he was paid. even trained. He paid. He, he paid. And let me tell you, it was even between the hours of the six. provisions of the law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Philip, like the matters. provisions of the law because no. it's, it's, it's wrong to pay ransom. It's wrong according to the statutes. Uh, Philip, if you say it is wrong to pay ransom, so can you not compare, you know, the life and the money? So which one is more important? Are you not saying that, okay, let us not pay us. Knowing that these people are very ruthless, they are brutal, they are heartless, and they can do anything they like at will. Mm. You are an economist. Yeah. What does it bring to the table of the bandits, the terrorists, if they see uninterrupted flow of finance coming to them? Will it in any way, you know, help in making our economy better or worse? Uh, Mr. Philip, um, the issue of Terrorism in financing is a very critical uh, economic subject exactly. and also security matter that the government, you know, need to take holistically. Mm. It's not something they should play politics with. Not just the government, even the individual. Yeah, that's yeah. where the ransom. Yeah, I'm coming uh, there. Giving, giving ransom. That's where it comes. In. Exactly. Look at the last time we were working now from the train stations. Individual had to pay, although people have to deny to say, oh. And nothing was, you know, paid. Even currently, I'm not. I'm coming to that. You know, <laughs> even currently, <laughs> the issue of the Kaduna and issue that happened and all the rest. You know, let the truth be told. Ransom must be paid, and the reason why there is this continuity of this rampage in kidnapping, and the reason why people, these are criminal, you know, actors and enemy of the state, you know, find it convenient, so to say, in quote. To actually, 
you know, kidnap people. Ima, ima, they cannot issue that. Because the business, is, they came because, twice. Because the business seems to be booming. Be. Exactly. And that is why it becomes important, it becomes uh, imperative that we stop the life that is giving them strength to continue this business. Exactly. Now, if they do not, if they are not giving ransoms, it means that it will cut their finances. Exactly. And if it cuts their finances, it will go a whole long way to make them change trade. Philip, I agree with you 100%. Not until we decimate and then defy the source of their strength, we cannot win this battle. And I'm happy that the federal government you know, came up with the issue of the list and all of that. Although there have been a lot of controversy, even in the last administration, even when they came out openly to say, oh, a lot of individuals have been identified and fingered to be the financial of uh, these uh, tourists, whatever. It took them nearly, if I include the last administration to now, how many years before they could have the God to publish names. But again, the names that have been published, let them be in haste or let them not just rejoice to say, oh, the battles have been won. No, there are a lot of legal issues, although I'm not uh, a legal uh, luminary or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, but there's a lot of legal issues about it now. Government must have done due diligence. They must have done proper investigation, send it to the appropriate court, which is the you know, DSS. Do do thorough investigation. Let it be an indictment, evidence, before you come to the air to say, oh, these are the people financing you know, you know, terrorism. Are they actually evidence? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know the fact that government have to say, okay, these are the list. And again, these people must surely you know, context and contend you know, the fact that their name has been mentioned because it, 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 it's, a, it's a legal matter. Straight away to court, you know, they, until the court find them guilty and truly satisfied that they are the one truly financing, you know, these uh, terrorists. There's no way we can lay yeah, hands we on have a case. case in point. We have a case in point uh, of uh, Muhammad Tuko, yeah. who is seen to be the spokesman of uh, the uh, cleric, Islamic scholar, uh, Gumi Sheikh Abubakar. And yeah. Sheikh Abubakar has been in the news recently yeah, where exactly. he was saying that uh, the security agents have no right, you know, to mention names of those who are financing terrorism. That is an act of illegality. Yeah. Uh, that at uh, this surface is at the level of allegations. And so if you are saying someone is guilty, you have to prove. And you can only prove in court. Exactly. And at present, the, the uh, spokesman, uh, as reports have it, is having a case in court. And uh, that means that not until that case is done. You can't categorically say that uh, Mumatuko, uh, who is a publisher based in Kaduna, yeah. you know, is financing terrorism. Although where he was caught in the web was that he, 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 he helps to receive ransom and also helps to deliver the <laughs> ransom to the terrorists. Okay. But, uh, but, 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 but let's strike a balance because even the spokesman uh, and of course the uh, Islamist scholar, you know, Gumi uh, Sheikh Abu Bakr, yeah. uh, seem to know the roots, seem to know these persons, you know, that we are finding it an equivalent task, getting into custody or getting into being prosecuted. I mean, the bandits, okay. the terrorists. So don't you see an opportunity that the government should have used, you know, to get into all of these uh, terrorists? Um, that seem to be known by some oh, of us, okay. some of these people that are around the government. Now, Philip, Mr. Philip, if actually uh, Tuko knows these individuals, I think he can easily give them up once there's evidence that the state actors knows that they know that he knows these individuals. Let me be mindful. Let me decognize the, the issue of uh, playing a middle role, an actor, you know, to be an uh, uh, intermediary or middleman between the terrorist, you know, and the uh, victims of the individuals are kidnapped. Mm. No, in every nation in the world, you know, there are two approaches to security. Either you use kinetic approach or non kinetic approach. Now, I think more emphasis is now on the issue of non kinetic. You know, let's address, you know, once there's a an issue like this involving kidnapping individual lives and involve, you know, government should negotiate. There must be a negotiator. And that's where a, you know, a, a lobby comes in. Yes, mm. it must mm. come in. No. So not only government, we cannot just categorically say, oh, he knows these people. On what basis, on what fact? You have an aunt. Mm. Then I said, 
I'm not quite pleased with government the way they rush. But, 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 but you can you, you still have the floor. Mm -hmm. But you can't rule out the fact that he knows them. You can't yeah, rule out the fact may, that may, even the woman took her, who mm -hmm. is uh, a publisher based in Kaduna, mm -hmm. also knows them. He may because not know them. The allegations that, that the, the allegations that he he helps to receive ransom Some, yeah. and also gives this ransom, yeah. and uh, even uh, the Islamic scholar saying that the government should negotiate with terrorists, okay. Okay. you know, even showing interest to uh, assist the government in negotiating See, with these terrorists. Yes, I just let me so speak up. it means you know where they are. Let it me means up. You there can be a way around it to round up. Okay, let me just pick you up from, from, from where you, you stop. You said alleged. As alleged. Alleged. So let's see the word. Let me, let me make for that word. Alleged. Now, you will not be happy when somebody tends to label you for what you are not. No, no, no. Not yeah. until I'm coming. The statement me... credited to Gumi is Gumi. not an allegation. He said it. It's, it's in the media. Exactly, but what is the is an What is the aspect of, doing about the aspect of hmm. publishing the names? But what are they doing about The aspect of publishing the yeah. names, hmm. you know, because if you want, if you must prosecute, prosecute the case, yeah. uh, by the provisions of the law, you uh, one who is seen as a suspect is hmm. presumed not guilty. But this is not the first time he's been fingered. Guilty. So we can always say the that time these are allegations. Adalet. Exactly. This is the first time he's been fingered. Like I said, if government have evidence. No. Why are it to the press to publish name when due diligence or investigation will not be done? There are a lot of criminals in the site, even those in prison that we don't even know that investigation are still ongoing. Let me come to the issue of um, uh, the community that have been recently invaded by the military. They'll tell you no access, not nothing, until the investigation is con concluded, we we'll release you know, facts and information to the press. Even the press was even denied. My question, why hurry to the press to release this name when sufficient due diligence in terms of investigation has not been carried out? What makes you think, why that, we, why makes you think that sufficient due diligence has not been taken? If sufficient due diligence has been carried out, the NFIU, don't forget, don't forget, there's no need don't forget, don't forget the NFIU is involved there's no need. in this. No, there's only the NFIU is involved in this. And so for them to be involved in this, it means that they already have documents to show how monies are being moved from one account to the other. It's, like it's like a, a financial yeah. institution investigating body. Exactly. And so Did being that as it is, investigate them, say being, they will call the evidence, being that let them be sentenced, then they from will, publish their names. It, it will be ridiculous mm. for you to even say that before the federal government could put these names on paper, yeah, yeah. that they've not found out their investigation. To be honest with you, it may just be a distraction in this yeah. economic time to say, is it may be, I'm not saying, you know, 100% may be a political, you know, gimmicks. Okay, but just remember, to put, okay, but, coming, let me learn this point, let me make this point. Just to create, you know, diversion to let people feel, oh, these are, we are, we are trying our best, you know, to fight the issue of security. <laughs> like I said, Mr. Philip, if I were in that shoes, if I were in the shoes, I would not publish. First, once I have my facts, and I have, you know, all the evidence. I will go straight to, I will use the, the, the actual channel I'm supposed to use. Once they find them guilty, before I will mention names and I will publish their names. Well, reports have because it that. Because the way it is now, Mr. Philip, the way it is now, they have been prosecuted. Okay, okay. okay. report have it. They must first go to court. Be you cannot just prosecute them. You are going to go to court. Basically, they going to court. Basically, so that is, tomorrow, basically, that is underway. Exactly. Basically, that By is underway. By publishing their names, Mr. Philip, okay, but, but, we but, create, but, let me see, he's going to create even an avenue. For, to as, as, as to deter the true uh, 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 process, the true legitimate you know, just, it's, it's justice. It's going to hamper justice, and again, it may even erode for that investigation that that have not been completed by by, by, by the, the state actors. Okay, you know there are a lot of investigations that are supposed to be going on. By me mentioning their name, you know this is going to truncate the process, or it's going to create a, a lot of debacle and create. A, uh, 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 a lot of uh, you know, all those in actually carrying out an uh, forensic investigation on these matters. Okay, sometimes uh, we want to see if Nigerians really know what they want. <laughs> okay, so uh, they... Using you as a case study. Okay. Uh, because I remember vividly in the times of President Mal Buhari's administration, yeah. uh, you were among those that were also confessing that this name should be mentioned. Yeah. They should be prosecuted. Exactly. Now, some have said that, well, the President Mal Buhari's administration never had a will. To do this, exactly. and so that was a minus on his administration. Exactly. Now we have an administration that is taking it and wants to do what Nigerians said the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari should do. Now he's doing it, and now you are talking. No, 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 I'm not, so, 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 not against What do we I mean, really want? Because exactly. we, we, are, we are seeing this as a way, even when you know foreign countries were mentioning these names, that yeah. there are some names 
you know, that link to some persons who are sponsoring and financing terrorism exactly. in Nigeria. The UAE also brought it up. And we really wanted to dig in and see how or what names are these and how, you know, they can be arrested, if need be, and also prosecuted. Because if you have any allegation about anybody, apart from the fact that you must publish, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of running to the media to publish, like mm -hmm. you said. You know, it's just a matter of picking them where they are. Exactly. Now, we should have an enforcement agent, uh, a, a, a agency or a security architecture that can quickly swift into action, you know, that can quickly you know, round up Things. all of these suspects no. and make them face the law. If they are guilty, they go for it. If they are not, they are discharged. Yeah, I think I'm a, I'm a complete apostle of um, the fact that they should be published. They should arrested okay you they should, be, they should yes, be published. yes i am happy i'm happy but what i'm saying that the government should not make the mistake of stopping creating, at this point no creating a process that they may not be able to finish in the court of law giving uh you know uh loopholes to these individuals so called these are these are these are cabals and are these few individuals i've mentioned they are not just the only individuals let's let me just say team they work as a team you know, you cannot just mention individual's name without, you know, uh, traces to which account is being, you know, uh, money is being, you know, sent. Of course, that's that the work of the NFIU two and the work yes. of that. It takes two to tango, exactly. not just these two individuals. Even the bureau decision that was mentioned, yes. it takes two to tango. But six of the bureau decision yes. and uh, defense exactly. were mentioned. Exactly. Now, there are channels to which this has been done, meaning there are other individuals highly connected, mm. so to say, individuals okay. that are involved. As I said, let government, you know, rather running to the press to publish this name. Have this name to yourself. Do due diligence in terms of investigation. You know, let there be proper evidence. You know, go to court. Take them through the route of a you know legal process. Don't forget let this has been on. Let it be you know, no finger. Don't forget they, this they, has been on since the time of uh, President Mahmoud Buhari. In exactly of, names. Even before his there. time. They in terms of trying to get yeah. into all of these names. Have you asked yourself, have you asked yourself this what question? Makes you think, what okay. makes you think that they've not been monitored all this while? Okay, have you asked now, yourself this question? Now, we have sister delayed? agencies, we have okay. anti-graft agencies. Okay. What makes you think that they are just sitting on their hands? Exactly. Why what makes you, you think that they are not doing something in that regard? I have so, I put it to you that mm. they, there are evidences, mm. but it's just to be given so a go-ahead. No, no, no. It's just to be given a go-ahead by the president to publish the names and then go for these guys you see? and then make them face the music. If they are guilty, they, are, they, they, they find themselves in jail. You see, you see the not, problem I have, the security... So exactly what I'm saying that mm. it is possible the Mr. President gave them the, the go-ahead mm. to go about it. And so they have to dig up facts, facts yeah. evidences. Mm. I want to believe that all of these are intact. So the next move should be, let's see speedy prosecutions. Now, let's also see confessions yeah. made by these uh, yeah, names yeah. being yeah. mentioned. For now, they are suspects. Yeah. But this publishing of the names will also serve as a deterrent, you know, for those who want to go into it, or those who are already the kidnappers, the terrorists, the bandits. This would be like a shiver down their spine to make them know that it's no longer business as usual. Mr. Philip, why will the state actor saddle the responsibility of ensuring security, wait for government or president approval? That is, that is a, a complete fiasco. They are supposed to do their job, like me. I'm a lecturer. I do not wait for my vice chancellor to give me, you know, the, the go ahead to say, oh, Mr. Presley, go to class and teach. I'm not saying that, no. that is what it is. I'm not saying that is what it is. Hold on, it takes a public At this point, I can say that. Yes, I'm coming. At this point, I can say that that's my opinion. I'm not pinning it on the federal government. Okay, but exactly. I'm saying that. All of this must have been done and gathered. Exactly. And again, why wait to even go to press to mention these high-profile names? Why wait? Just go pick now, them. Okay, why not pick them? Yes, yeah, exactly. My <laughs> point is that pick them silently, covertly, let it be done covertly, so that the next person that is connected to them directly or indirectly will not have process or access to escape from the rap. Investigate them when DSS are carrying out the operation, they don't mention anything. Mm. Everything is done covered. You know, the operation is silent. They do their due investigations. 
you know, they ensure that there are facts and evidence. They take them through the process. <laughs> to mention names, no, I mean. So are you saying that this could be a name, to mention Are you name, saying that this could be a name? To name is not a win. Are you saying this but could be an attempt to score a political point? Exactly, maybe. <laughs> it may just be the problem. Again, like I said, there are a lot of economic challenge between the people. There is hunger, certainly. There are a lot of, you know, pains. People are in pain, society. It could just be another way for government to give us things to discuss about in order to create the vacuum for the main process. There have been a lot of uh, recent uh, attacks. And a lot of people have been agitated to say, oh, the state is not safe. Publish that name, it could just be, oh, a relief to say, oh, federal government is working, they are doing their best. I'm saying it's not enough. Coming to the press to say a name that we published over and identify them, what have you done to them? The Chinese, are they the only people involved? Okay, but, but, but why, don't you, to know, why don't you give point. room? Why don't you give Let me point. make this point. It might interest to know that some security or state actors are involved that have not been mentioned for the power administration to take through at eight years. And they were announcing, and they kept saying that, oh, we know them, we know them, and they didn't mention them. Do you but agree that the journey, now? the journey of a thousand kilometers starts with a step? I quite agree with you. Are you, are you not supposed to be applauding this step? I quite agree. <laughs> no, yeah, the step is well applauded. Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah, if, I, we must, I, if we must, fact that they if have, we must get it right, if yeah. we must get it right, mm. every step in the positive direction yeah. should be applauded. Sure, sure. And even though or even if the government is not having what it takes to really go strong against this. Yeah. But we should at least give them some score point, you know, when we see them delivering at whatever minimal level, level yeah. in order to at least give an encouragement. Exactly. Uh, but to some minds, this is a positive, you know, move in exactly. the right direction. But again, if you say something about uh, doing it covertly, yeah. uh, you also raised a very beautiful point. Yeah. Uh, so that it wouldn't scare those who are involved in this, because if they see names being published, they could say, well, uh, it could come to me. So they could find a way out of it. Like what exactly. we have on the papers, we are able to... It could also uh, be that... Yeah, it could also be that yeah. the, the, the wrong, you know, uh, individuals may have been the one that has been displayed. I'm not Let them go to the court and face that. Exactly, they'll go to class. Yeah. They don't answer that. Like it's I said, not wrong. it's not wrong, it's Philip, not wrong to finance, to finance. It's not yes. wrong if you clear your name. Like I said, we've we are creating cases, the it's, it's a global trend. We've seen cases where... It's an suspect, illusion. Yes, of course. We've seen cases government where... Government is giving you us an illusion. Picked. You can be picked. Even if you say you are innocent, yeah. prove you're innocent in the court. court. We've seen it even in developed politics where... Someone is arrested, coming to and them, someone, who is, in, to agree with someone who is innocent is exactly, arrested. Exactly. But in the course of proving a case in the yeah. court, he's found innocent, then he will be discharged and acquitted. Yeah. I think those are words that he used in, in the um, um, judiciary. Do you know, you know? So it if, that, to if, know if, that, if that is what it is, yeah. we shouldn't raise noise over this. Okay. No matter the suspects. Exactly. Who is court. Court. Yeah, no, let them go through the mail. That's the point I said. I let it go. And face the music. Hey, of course. Let's yeah. follow the legal due process in this matter. But oh. my fear, my worry is that, like I said, the principal people that may be involved may have not been fingered. Because for terrorism, in quote, to be financed and, and ammunition has been supplied, that means there is a collaboration among the state actors to these individuals. By this, are you saying that the list may be a featured list? You said my point. Well, it's an assumption. Yes, <laughs> we all make speculations. No, you know, you know, at but this point, big wigs are being fingered. That's you know, when we say, oh, federal government, see the challenge. they are see the challenge. You know, uh, from time immemorial, we've been having this challenge of trust in the government. You know, from one administration to another, you know, when they say they want to do this, yeah. they come strong with manifestos, and by the time they uh, voted into power, oh, yeah. they seem not to do what is expected of them by the citizenry. Exactly. And so over time, this trust for government, or what we call government functionaries, yeah. came in. Now, if we take our minds back to the Obesian pattern of life as theorized by Thomas Hobbes, oh, yeah. where he said, life is short, sure. nasty, and yeah. brutish, yeah. if there's no government. The reason why we have a democracy is because the people came together in Athens and said that we can't rule ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's set a body, body yeah. you know, that will be in charge of our day-to-day -day affairs. Let's give them the power, the ability to rule over us, to take laws, or to make laws, implement laws, and adjudicate. And that's how government came in. So all through, 
we've been finding it to go through the process, to go to the mill of understanding the intricacies involved in governance. And so don't forget that the Nigerian government is a foreign government. <laughs> we got it from the colonial masters. Okay, that's the so, system we are putting. Uh, of, of course, yes. So, Bob, yeah. so don't forget that it's, it's going to take some appreciable time. Some have said that, well, uh, we've gone over 60. Uh, we should be uh, strong enough to you know, do this, do that. But don't you think we still have to learn the books? Don't you think we still have time to go through? And don't you think the administration so far, comparatively with that of the former president, Mamadou Buhari, has learned the books in terms of how to gather investigation before publishing the names? And even while we have that of uh, Mamadou Tuka, who is uh, a Kaduna-based publisher and uh, a perceived uh, spokesman of uh, the um, Islamic scholar, Gumi Sheikh Abu Bakr, it shows a whole lot because at present he's been prosecuted. And so what makes you think that other persons are not being prosecuted? So it shows a whole lot to see that we are gradually getting there. But my, my mind now, my feelings now is on ransom, the demands. Yeah. How do we stop ransom taking? Okay. Um, let me take you through the journey of the issue of trust. You know, you, you said I think it would not be uh, too um, fair on my part if I do not make a lot of uh, facts regarding the issue of trust over time from 1960 you know, when Nigeria independent, 1963 when it became, it became public, and successive government came in, how we metamorphosed into democracy and the benefits of democracy in quotes that mm. we are supposed to enjoy mm. from um, ambassador's time to this time. Has there been progress? Because it's a civic public. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't forget it's because it's a white man's government. Yeah. <laughs> the system was adopted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we are, we are, we are, we are but we are. can modify the system exactly what we're to doing. fit our culture, exactly to what fit we're doing. our system, do you, to fit do you, the do kind you know of individual we are. Of which I know you know. Yeah. We are from heterogeneous backgrounds. Exactly. What's we, have, we have different languages in hundreds. I, I agree with you. cultures. I agree with you. Ethnicity. Yes. You can't take that away. And so for such, for such a people with diversity, but united. It means that the only Are system really of government... United? No, no, I'm, I'm coming Are there. we really I'm united? Coming there. It means the only system of government that we can run is a federal system, which is in the books. That's true federalism. True federalism, yeah. yeah. So, but you remember vividly, you know, it takes stages. Even if we are to look at um, the uh, pyramid structure of man, you know, as uh, proposed by uh, Abraham Maslow, yeah. you know, you have the pyramid. It starts with the physiological needs, exactly, yeah. and then you go to social needs, if yeah, I'm not mistaken, yeah. and then the esteem and the self-actualization. Yeah. They are all in stages. Exactly. Now, I even, even when a child has been born, it's not able to take solid. It takes make. And gradually, it takes solid, you know, or semi-solid. Exactly. And, you know, you introduce some, <laughs> you know, um, diets into uh, the baby's meals in order for the baby to grow stronger. So exactly what it is in government. What? The government we are running is yeah. a white man's government. We call it the civic government. Yeah. We had a government before the white man came to contact yeah. us, which was Primordia. Yeah, primordia. And so yeah. we are trying to do away with Primordia to learn the civic. It's going to take time. Don't you think so? No, it's, gonna, it's not. It's not. I disagree with the individuals or people who have that opinion. I'm my own way that I call it... Uh, no, let me not, um, a, I call it malpeak, opinion about the issue of learning process. Yeah, I quite agree with you that learning is stages. But at the same time, learning is in stages, but you must learn without making a mistake or repeating the mistake that individual you are, you are learning from. Uh, you will not repeat the mistake. Yeah, as in you must learn progressively. Made. Yes, progressively. But the question, are we learning progressively? Now, let me just, you know, enlighten you. Recently, you just answered yourself. Three days ago. Now, I'm coming. You China. just answered yourself. Yeah, but when in I mean so publishing the names, I'm not... publishing the names mm. of these uh, terrorists or those who are sponsoring it or those, they are suspects anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they are suspects. Now, developments are in stages and in phases. And again, the current, you know, dispensation of our living in the world is we are living in a global, you know, village whereby every country and economy must catch up. Look at China recently. They are named the best brain in terms of uh, academics, you know, in terms of um, directors of industries. The best brain all over the world. 
they, 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 their duty was to march out the economic plan for China for the next 20 or 50 years. That's a, a country that have an economic plan. Do we have an economic plan? Are we really adopting technology the way we should do it? See the way the academia in the Nigeria was strangulated. Even the so-called politicians, they are appreciative of them. The other day, they gather industry, in, 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 uh, industry actors to say, oh, what's the roadmap for Nigeria? What do we do in terms of this economy? How do we solve the economic problem? How do we solve the issue of prices? Every administration, you mean comes, I was every, angry? Every, every, every administration comes with its plan, economic plan. For you to say that you cannot do, Mr. Philip. You, 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 you ask the question. You ask the question. You need education is very fundamental. See, there are two major things that are fundamental: education and health. You need the individual. You need the economy and the people to be healthy. Exactly. For you to have a productive economy like China, they are very healthy. They are fast. They, are, they have strength. They think. How can you in Nigeria? People now we are all struggling to survive, Mr. Philip. No more. We are, we are just trying to survive. No more to live. We are not living. We are survived, just to survive. How did this square me in our table? I read in, in the, the books. Day. I read in the books but that individuals are no longer interested no, 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 in no, no. that. I read, also I, read, I read in the books of what it takes to have developed polities. Yeah. And also what it takes to have developing polities. And what it also takes so to have. So why do we why do we, I'm why do we keep making mistakes? I'm coming somewhere. We why also, do we keep making what mistakes? What it also takes for us to have underdeveloped polities. You can't call us underdeveloped in Nigeria. We are developing. Now, it, it, it would be wrong for you to say, because if you look at what education has done to the Nigerian citizenry okay. and what uh, brain drain, again, has done to the economy, you know, and, and export of our experts, yes. you see the intrusion of progress. It gives to the other economies. Who are benefiting from the education and No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm trying to make a point. External I'm, countries. I'm trying to make a point. What I'm trying to say is that through this contact of having education, yeah. we are improving. But what, you f what we fail to see, yeah. or what we still hope to see, mm. is a reflection of this improvement in our leadership. I think that's where the problem is coming from. Exactly. See, let me tell you, Mr. Philip, most development or developed society are driven by research. Research and development. They are two, they are intertwined. You cannot separate them. Without research, there's no development. Show me Nigerians where the individuals. I call them all oh, the most individual that are rich in Nigeria. Show me uh, the, 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 the China to the West. Is it by true research? Look at my uh, sugar bag and the, uh, the so-called, uh, this guy that owned uh, We don't need to mention names. Let me mention, mention names okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. The, the, the America today was developed through their development stages, through research. They don't neglect, they didn't neglect research. If Nigeria must develop, our government must identify the issue of research. Look at when COVID came. We people were trying to identify and solve problems. Still, our government find it easier, more comfortable to import. Rather than focus or look within. They said, oh, who are these individuals that we have within? Yeah, is that not why we are That's trying a to... failure of government. Is that not why we are trying to make Failure sure? of is that the leadership why... yes. that we are talking about. Exactly. Failure of the, the issue that brought us the issue of trust. So now, why, tell me, why would I trust a government that do not trust me? Uh, because, 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 because you are looking at the past. I'm not now, looking at the past. I'm now, looking at the present. No, no, no. no I'm the, looking at the present. The present is yet to do. The present is yet to do. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, no, no. The present, the present is, yet to, no, no, no. The present is yeah. yet to do a year in office. Do we have plans? Do we have plans? I'm not interested in uh, the number of years a government you know, you know, spent. Oh, we spent one year. We are just in government. No. Do we have plans? Do we have long-term plans, medium, short-term plans? Development stages for Nigeria, do we have that? To say, okay, in the next 10 years, this world should be, in the next 50 years, will be this. Let's put that on hold. will come and they will take that up. Do we have such plans? Let's put that on hold. Let's delve into the aspect. So how do we develop? Let's delve into the aspect of ransom. Oh, yeah, ransom. Because, because, let's uh, come to uh, ransom. I, I, I think uh, the government is as guilty as the individuals that we are. Yeah. Because... Uh, Invariably, but you, don't have you mentioned it. You, don't you have mentioned facts. it. You mentioned you it off record. Facts. No, no, we are, we are, we are saying it here. Okay. You mentioned it off record, record yeah. which I believe you have facts yes, of someone who you know was kidnapped yes. in Benin. Yeah, and he, he was made to pay ransom. Exactly, that's a fact. He paid yes. Exactly. An individual. Exactly. Yes. So that seemed to, from that level, seem to feel the capacity of that kidnapper 
to continue in that business. Why did the individual pay ransom? No, no, no. It's not if, the failure if the, of the if state the, if the to individual, protect the individual. If the, if the individual does not pay ransom, hmm. it will stop the flow of bread for that kidnapper. But the challenge, like what you said, is that the hostages may be killed. Exactly. Like I said, Mr. Philip, these guys are brutal, fearless, and they are fiends, and are ready to devour. But given the economic you know, situation of the, uh, of, of the states, you know, where we are in today, you know, if an individual is being kidnapped, oh my God, the next moment the family will try as much as what they can or could to ensure that the individual is being released. Because given the fact that it is 50 50, if ransom, even if you pay ransom, you might be lucky to have the individual alive. Even there are cases that even when ransom has been paid, the individual will still be killed. That's going to show to you okay. how dogged, how fearless this poor are. And again, where are we having this conversation? Because of the failure of the state actors. I was asking myself, how did you get here? What happened to our intelligence? Okay, but don't forget, don't forget. What we, happened to don't forget, intelligence? What don't happened for, to don't forget, our state actors? Don't forget the that population. can be kidnapped. They, don't forget. Don't forget the population we are we are comprised of. And don't forget that uh, you were talking about true federalism yeah. not quite long. Uh, and again, we should also look at the aspect of securing our borders, as in within states. Exactly. Don't forget there has been a conversation of state policing again yeah. that could also tackle the issue of this. Uh, incessant rise in crime, you know, and uh, criminality. Now, don't you think we should also visit those aspects where we can say, let's give more powers to the state in terms of securing their states? Like a good example is the Ondo State, for instance, the yeah. Omute Kumpo, Kumpo, yeah. and even Edo State, the uh, Vigilante Network. Network. Isn't it working or aren't they working? Uh, my fear is, are we happy not to have the police? Are we right enough? Do we have the institutions when that can actually... Be, when do you think we'll be ripe enough? Uh, because of the system of governance that we are operating. You seem, For to, example, be scared, you seem to be scared of making I mistakes. I am scared. No, no, if no, I'm you not don't scared make of making mistakes, mistakes. You can't develop. No, no. What happened to grassroots uh, 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 government today, the so-called local government? As our governors, have they been able to lay off their hands from state government to ensure proper... In fact, that's where true development takes place. Because, in fact, to even stop this so-called kidnapping or to arrest the issue of security. Let's go back to uh, a, local go uh, a local government administration because they are people cl closer to the grassroots. For each uh, you know, uh, local government administration, there are villages that are connected to them individually. So have we been able to develop that uh, you know, harms of government? What do we have today? All of them are puppets in the hands of, 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 of governors. They dictate what happened to that level of, 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 of governance. Not until we have true you know, institution that can guarantee you know, a, a, a due process, that can guarantee fairness, that can guarantee our liberty. And Mr. Philip, if we try state police, <laughs> it will be a, it's like we, we've made, you know, let's say, 100 steps and we are taking counting a uh, thousand backward. Okay, why about I am not saying that state police will not work, but we appropriate institution and mechanism in place to check because most of them will be abused through uh, through their governors. Imagine a governor who is expecting an election to say, "Oh, this is my election," and they are in charge of uh, uh, squeezing their states. What do you think they will do? They will twist, you know, and uh, their, their their opponent or their contender and send them to prison, or they'll give them different names, you know, just to create, you know, diversion to ensure that, you know, the process is left for them to have their way or through. Let's be very careful with the issue of state policing. But rather, I would prefer that government should, should identify, you know, a state actor like the Amuteku and whatever, and give them, empower them, whereby they will be highly supervised, and there will be an institution or a ministry that will supervise them Thoroughly okay. to ensure that the process is not being abused and not being used by the so-called uh, state actors, you know, to selfish to their own uh, selfish benefit. Okay. We must be very careful; otherwise, we will just be still on the gag of uh, gunpowder. In, in, case, in case you're just watching, is TMI, and uh, I've been speaking on the subject ending terrorism financing, uh, task before President Tinubu, and my guest is Dr. Presley Osemige, an economist. A lecturer, University of Benin. Well, let's push this further. Ransom 
It's yeah. still on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the short comes. Uh, when I say yes, yes, released. I'm going there. I'm going there. Yeah. When I say ransom is on my mind, not to give it all, but to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we actually I remember. I remember vividly when we were peddling this number two eighty-seven. Yeah. It was all over, you know, media. Two eighty-seven pupils and their instructors kidnapped yeah. from different schools, you know, Kaduna, Sokoto, and other environs. And uh, we didn't know that it was 137. <laughs> 136, I mean. 137. Seven, okay. Until they were released. And they told us that it's 137 Seven, that we're actually kidnapped. kidnapped. How do you measure the story? <laughs> How do you greet it? And it, the, 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 the story came with me with a um, high sense of... Um, you know, um, disbelieved. Okay. Um, I, because I, I find it difficult to, who do I even believe? Who do I trust? You see the issue, that's where the issue of trust, we just discuss. <laughs> the issue of trust. Now. And probably records were not properly taken. Yeah. Now, I'm going to probably put my at blame. The point, at I'm the point they were kidnapped, yeah. the records were not taken. No, no, I'm coming. I'm Maybe the records were taken by the abductors. And so when So it now, was the abductors that gave us the I don't know. <laughs> Okay, for the purpose of a ransom payment, because the larger the numbers, because the I, I, the I, 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 I expected that we should have this, we should have had this conversation that oh, it's not two eighty seven, exactly. it's one thirty seven. You see, you see, there's, there, in fact, you, you, it's now you are coming to term with me. That number may have been given because of the expect, expectation that ransom will be paid. The higher the number, you can't speculate. We are all speculating. You can't speculate. Because we don't have the fact. <laughs> <laughs> now, the government has the this. fact. Like I said, the government came with the fact. I'm coming now. The I'm government said 137 okay, people. If the government had the fact, if they had the fact, I've come at the first instant, a figure were given. And the same government have not come up to tell us, oh, this was the reason why we gave this figure earlier. And this is the reason why we're giving this figure. Maybe there was a misplaced record. Okay. Or it's not somewhere along the line. Oh, between oh, where they were, I'm coming. Between when they were kidnapped and when, you know, they were released. Let's, it's very sensitive. And again, I think there's the, um, uh, let me bring in the press. The press are supposed to be the fourth ex-state of the realm. You know, in terms of ensuring that our democracy is being deepened and that people enjoy the benefits of democracy. That's why we're having this conversation. Exactly. That's why we're having this conversation. Yeah. Now, immediately after the incident took place. There was no investigative journalism that were done, not just only by visiting the school, by ensuring that the individual families of these people were touched or interviewed to say, oh, my son, my daughter, my this, my this were kidnapped. What makes you to, think to it wasn't done? Figure. What makes you think it wasn't done? You, Up to now, you, no, no, we don't have no, the no, facts. No, no, you are at the level of the surface of getting information. You are not at the bottom. <laughs> if, oh. you were, if you were at the bottom, at the grassroots, you would have seen... Exactly. Like you, said, would have seen journalists, you would have seen journalists doing all of this. Exactly. At the point, at the point, have, at the point if, we if had different... We have, don't forget at the point we had different figures. Different figures were paid up. Two, eight, seven was yeah. one. Where, and uh, investigations uh, were, were, were underway yes. by journalists. Yes. But now, we have, now, now, we, okay, then now, what, what are they saying now? Okay, the but, journalists now, government now but, but, came up with their figure. I'm coming let's not, let's let's not, I'm not blaming. Let's not, let's I'm not, not blaming. Him. I'm telling you what should be done okay. when an incident takes place. Like, for example, now the Okoma fight. We understand that journalists were completely bad. Uh, even the uh, human state uh, yes, yes. was even bad. Let me not go there because okay. that's a military, ongoing military operation, so to say, they, they, okay. they made allusion to. But now, let's come back to the issue of this kidnap. To Suddenly, one thirty-seven. Okay, let's, get there? let's allow that. Is, let's allow that to settle. Aren't you also happy that at least this no, one thirty-seven? No, I cannot allow that to settle. This there must be an freedom. explanation for that figure. Where we are, that figure. Why wait for the explanation? The I'm not the one to give you that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that are you not happy? At least we have that one thirty-seven. Well, yeah, we're getting freedom. Yeah, yeah, sure. Is that not laudable? I, yeah, and very, the beauty very, about yeah. it is that the government said that they did not give any ransom. So what Isn't happened? that fantastic? <laughs> Bravo. Our government are working. <laughs> but we, are, are we, already, we already worked, we already, uh, you know, had that conversation that we want to see the government robust. We want to see the government, yeah. you know, fighting hard to make sure that they are rescued on hot. 
And they were really rescued on hot. Mr. Philip, they were rescued on hot. Although I, 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 I rumors have it that there are some casualties anyways. Okay, casualties. Okay, maybe I, I don't, I don't, let me not say what. I don't know. I cannot also, you know, make allusion to some certain issues. But where at, least, I don't have, at least 137 yeah, regained freedom. Yeah, one without seven, answer, that's, that's I want you to comment on like that. Like I said, I'm happy. I think our government have done well to ensure. I think when Mr. President came up to say it was a collaborative effort between the federal government and the state government, that I don't that collaborative effort could be um, between the governor, uh, the governor of Kaduna, uh -huh, yeah. and federal government. I don't know what you meant by collaborative effort. I'm yet to understand that because what I understand Not that really collaborative. What do you mean by collaborative effort? The Who is efforts, fighting? Is the efforts of the, the army. I'm coming. The army. Then the state giving information on how to go about it. Is this is my state. This is police the area. This is where you should go. This is exactly. He said collaborative effort between FG and the government of Canada. We can't that explicitly. Means, I'm coming. I'm coming. We can't explicitly, coming. you know, uh, pour our thoughts yeah. on what that collaborative is. About. Exactly. That's why I said it, 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 least, it, 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 it has an information that we're pedo. But at least it on, culminated to something good. I Fine, that's the beauty. That. Yeah, the but we don't know yeah. that collaboration could be a ransom. No, 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 on no, the no, ground. no, no, no. We are supposed. It to, could be. We are supposed to believe what the government said. The government said there was no, no ransom. Okay. I think we should end it at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's look at let's look at what uh, we should do uh, at the level of because you may mention of the fact that uh, there should be no um, that state policing will come with a whole lot of danger ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay, now. Let's look at strengthening community policy. Yep. Like what the Edo State government is doing, like what Ondo State is also doing. Uh, you know, we keep seeing reports of how you know, criminality and crime is being tackled in the state. You know? And again, a good example is uh, the uh, state chairman of uh, PDP, uh, Tony Azigbemi, yeah. that also regained freedom. Yeah. So your thoughts on all of this as we wrap up? Um, um, okay, the issue of grassroots policing, I call it grassroots policing, in the sense that you and I will live in a community. Everyone came from a community. And to a, to a large extent, we know the people that live within our community. Yeah. And when there's a stranger into the community, we should be able to say, oh, this face is strange. Where is this guy from? And where is he staying? That's what we call community policing. Mm. I think the emphasis Everybody's be, involved in this. Yes, the emphasis should be on community policing. Again, how do we not empower the individuals now to police their community? That's where the, 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 the duty of government, <laughs> in terms of local government, I keep making reference to local government, okay. you know, comes in. Now, local government must be empowered, duly empowered. I'm telling you, we cannot have a vibrant and successful state you know, police with tax reviving or giving local government their place. That's just the honest, honest truth. Mm. If not, it's going to create another monster that we will live to regret and to combat with. Mm. Well, now, let me give you an example. I would been able to even, you know, um, um, I would have been able to even, you know, um, you know, you know, you know, control to an extent even mm. the so-called, you know, vigilante activities. That even the so called state government are handling. Have we been able to? No. The truth be told, but we are taking right steps. We are already taking right steps. If, we, right if we are taking right steps, the best step is technology. And the five people who come into your community All right. have a statistics. In Nigeria, we don't have statistics. Okay, we're going to hold our this conversation. Poor, our air border, land border, sea border, they are We're going to hold this us. conversation. <laughs> don't forget, in case you're just watching, is, he's an economist and uh, he's been doing well. Big thanks for yeah, thank you. your thank fantastic you. narrative on this. Thanks, and uh, we hope to see you in our subsequent uh, conversations yeah, on this. So this this case, we'll call it a close on the conversation.